afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another hard-to-find pre-owned pop-up value we're going to review today. This is a 2018 Flagstaff Classic 627D pop-up. Very nice condition. And, guys, this one's pretty well loaded out. It's got a slide out. It's got a bathroom with a shower, hot water, uh, air conditioning, heat, all the goodies that... Um, They've come a long way since I've owned a pop-up, guys. Let's just say that. Um, got a uh, outside refrigerator. Pretty nice one, guys. And the 627D dry weight's 2,830 pounds. Uh, when this thing is popped down in the towing position, it's 19 feet, 1 inches long. And when it's set up, it's 25 feet, 9 inches long. So you're actually towing a lot smaller camper than you're getting, which makes these things very popular especially those of you that live in neighborhoods with hoas where you can't have campers in your yard these things fold down where you can pop it in your garage it does have a power lift so these are a whole lot easier to set up than they used to be back when i owned them and uh you still get kind of an outdoor type feel with them i mean you get the best of both worlds you get the uh camping feel but you still get a lot of the amenities of a of a regular camper and you still get the tent feel as well so uh, perfect for boondocking because all these canvases unzip. They have screens so you can get plenty of fresh air if you're boondock camping. But if you do want to go to a campground or somewhere where you can run a generator, have shore power, you've got 30 amp electrical service, you got AC, and you get all the benefits of that too. So got it for $12,900, way under book value. That's thousands under NADA low retail value. And uh, let's take a look at this thing, guys. Very clean. Does have a fold-out awning with LED light strip. Normally, I'd have it out, but too close to this other one to put it out. Inside and outside speakers. Got a nice little Bluetooth stereo that sounds great. Dexter axle. Little outside table. You can put your grill on if you want to. Does have an outside refrigerator. That's electric, so you do have to have shore power. But you can see it's still got the tape on it. Never been used canvas looks great uh front king bed rear queen stabilizer jacks got spare tire on the back Thirteen thousand five hundred btu uh roof air six gallon dsi water heater does have a furnace so even if you're boondock camping you still have heat Very easy to tow at 2,800 pounds. Does have an outside shower as well. Power lift, really, really nice feature. A lot of pop-up for only $12,900. And these sell really well this time of year because it's perfect time of year to use it in, in the fall. Uh, you know, deer hunters love these things because you can... You know, you've got several different beds in it. And, you know, you can use these with or without power and still be comfortable. You've got outside hookups. You've got onboard water tank. Let's look inside. And inside, of course, you do have a slide out. And you do have a uh, table booth that makes a bed. And these are heated mattresses as well. You've got, and they both got the heat uh strips on them so uh you've got front king bed this is just your uh just for lack of a better place to put it that is your cover for your door when you're popped down your bathroom is pretty much a cassette toilet and they obviously never use the shower but the shower curtain is in it so you can set that up if you want to uh for a privacy curtain and all that folds down out of the way for easy access you do have the little plug-in fans and lights for the light for the uh, for the end bed anyway. One thing I want to point out, guys, the sofa, little 62-inch sleeper sofa, is a little wonky. I've seen this many times over the years. They pop this, they put this pop-up down, forgot to put the sofa down, bent the frame a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll try to bend it back where it works right. At the very worst case, we may have to replace the sofa. Either way, no big deal. We're gonna take care of it either way for you. You know, we we I'm pretty sure we can bend that back. To where it actually sits back like it's supposed to and, and works right 
Uh, but the very worst case, we'll just put a new sofa in it. No big deal. There's your stereo. Like I said, your uh, table booth makes a bed. So you can sleep two in the back, two there, two there, two here. But what's nice about it, is, especially if you're going to go deer hunting, you've got four separate beds in this little camper. Uh, 13,500 BTU roof air, which is working great. All LED lights. You do have a fantastic vent fan that runs off battery if you are boondock camping. Wouldn't really need it though, because like I said, all this canvas unzips with screen underneath it. Uh, so you can get plenty of cross ventilation in here to keep it nice and cool in the evenings uh, for sleeping. And shoot, I love it, guys. I slept, it's been many years I slept in a pop up, but I'm going to tell you, that's the best night's sleep you can get. Let that sounds of nature and the uh, night breeze come over you when you're sleeping. You don't need no air conditioning. You can see, guys, the uh, roof looks great. No smoke or pet odors in here. Books and manuals are in here. It does have a RV, three-way RV refrigerator freezer. So it can run off propane, electric, or gas. So even boondocking, you have a cold refrigerator. Three burner stove top. You've got the, uh, doesn't look like it's been used. Got the little cover right here. You got a uh, water pump on board for water pressure. Uh, sink, queen bed in the back. Privacy curtains. Got some drawers and storage and things like that. It's a nice little pop-up, guys. No mold or mildew on the canvas, which that's kind of unusual for a used pop-up, but obviously never had this thing. Didn't put the canvas up wet. Never want to put a canvas up wet. guys before i forget let me i forgot to pop the drone up for the roof shot hang on one second let me do that real quick and pause the video and while i'm in the process and move to pause the video let me pop an nada up too and it's pretty interesting to show you what inflation has done and new RV prices has changed so much since this was built new back in 2018 and how much new RV prices has gone up. I want to show you the current NADA retail value and believe it or not, it actually is worth more now according, and I'm not a big NADA fan personally guys, but it still is what it is and you can get on RV Trader, you can see I got the lowest price one on there for, for a 2018 Flagstaff classic 627d but according to nada just base nada used retail value is worth more than what this thing cost new in 2018 but then again you couldn't buy this thing now for what it cost new then uh as far as if you bought a new 2023 flagstaff 627d pop-up especially by the time they added the upsells and the fees and all that stuff um, of course that we don't charge on this used one or even if we sold new ones we wouldn't charge but uh, I thought that was pretty interesting but I'm still thousands underneath low retail hang on one second I'll pop that NADA up so I've got a great deal guys you can go on RV Trader you know you can see what they're bringing online the thousands more and again guys you know you can especially if it's a dealership you can rest assured you're not going to walk into a dealership and pay even on a used one especially if it's a corporate dealership pay that price that they're advertising it for they're going to add fees they're going to add upsells like extended warranties gap insurance they're going to add dock fees prep fees all that junk that we don't charge before you know it guys that advertised price is going to shoot up by several thousand dollars before you even add sales tax here guys this unit is twelve thousand nine hundred dollars plus applicable sales tax that's it if you want delivery service it's a dollar a mile round trip if you want that and that's optional other than that guys we have no fees um wherever else you go you buy all these upsells like extended warranty gap insurance uh you know tire and wheel packages vacation packages all this stuff marked up three or four times dealer cost most of it not worth the paper it's written on always say no to upsells guys keep your mouth 
your purchase price as low as possible keep your amount financed as low as possible don't pay attention to payment guys payment always fall pay attention to the amount you finance that's what's important dealers try to make you concentrate on payment that's the worst thing you can do always pay attention to how much you're financing payment will always fall in line with how much you finance and always check with your local bank or credit union before you rv shop to get an idea what kind of rates and terms they can do on used RVs so you have a basis of comparison. Dealerships make money on financing, guys. They get you approved at a lower rate. They have a deal worked out with their banks and lenders that allow them to mark that interest rate up, making you know, uh, uh, making them additional profit and overcharging you by financing by a lot of money, guys, a lot of money. And um, also, guys, if you go to a dealership that charges you extra, to pay cash or to go to your own bank and get a loan through your own bank, best thing you can do is find another de dealership because that's wrong. But many dealers are doing that now. They're charging you extra. To, if you bring cash or charging you extra, if you go through one of your, if you go through your bank or credit union instead of one of the bank's finance uh, sources, that's because they miss out on thousands of dollars in profit, but it's still wrong. Here, guys, we're family-owned and operated since 1968. We don't care how you pay for it, as long as it's verified funds. Um, cashier's check from your bank, our bank, or from out of your account, savings account, checking account, whatever. Um, if you want to take it with you, you can write a personal check, but you got to leave the RV here until it clears, um, which can take you know seven to ten business days, depends on your bank. Um, or clears our bank. Uh, wire transfer, we'll take that. Uh, we don't really take credit cards for more than a deposit because of the fees involved. I don't want to charge you. I don't want to pass those fees along to you guys. We try to keep our overhead and our markup at a minimum. So, you know, those fees can be pretty expensive. So we will take a, we'll take a, we'll, we'll eat the fees for a deposit. But as far as paying for on a credit card or debit card, no guys, we, we, we'll, we'd rather just take a check our credit card check and just and let you pick up the camper when it clears um or loan proceeds from one of our banks or from one of yours we don't mark interest rates up guys uh we'll take cash guys but you know for your own safety i do not recommend traveling with large amounts of currency it's just a, it's a, it's just a safety thing in case you get robbed or something like that so i do recommend bringing a cashier's check that we can verify with your bank or doing a wire transfer if you're going to pay cash. Now, I'm not going to turn down cash if you bring it, but because if it's over $10,000, we've got the Form 8300 with the IRS that we have to perform. It's just a little bit more paperwork involved, that, and we have to collect information from you too, that like uh, Social Security number, things like that, for that form, uh, anti mundry laundry bill and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, if you're not willing to give us that information, guys, we can't see an RV. Period. There's, that's not negotiable. But um, that's uh, that's federal law, by the way. But anyway, um, and plus, it's just not safe to travel with that kind of cash anymore. It's just not. So I do recommend, you know, I mean, we're not going to turn it down if you want a chance to bring us cash. I mean, we're going to accept it, of course. We're not ever going to turn it down, but it doesn't give you any any benefit over any any other form of payment. I mean, it goes right to the bank. So, while we, have, you know, like I said, it's entirely up to you. Um, or we'll take trade-ins as well. And guys, we do offer delivery service a dollar a mile round trip. Now, if there's a trade-in to pick up that we have to bring back, of course, that might be slightly higher. They just, you know, we just call your salesperson. We'll work all that out. But anyway, this unit is 12-9, haggle-free firm. Try to find one for less. Uh, we are going to fix this sofa. Give us a call if you're interested, 706-965-7929. Just wanted to do a quick video on this one. Thought it was pretty nice. I really do. Uh, I know pop-ups, every time I post a pop-up online, it sells in a day or two. Because you can't beat our prices on pop-ups. And you see very few of these used that are all just slapped, worn out, damaged, uh, and things like that. So when we get one in, it's nice like this. It's priced under book value as far as this one is. 
you go on RV Trader, you see what they're bringing on RV Trader, you, you see ours, it's thousands less. Plus, we don't charge you fees and upsells. I mean, we save you thousands on the price, we save you money on financing by not marking the rate up, we save you money on upsells and fees that can amount to thousands of dollars in savings on top of the price. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a win-win for everybody, guys. But that's the benefit of buying from a dealership that's been in business for over half a century. Everything we own is paid for. You know, we have minimum overhead. We don't spend millions of dollars a year in commercials and having college foot, you know, paying millions of dollars for stadiums to be named after us and, and college football games and NASCAR races named after us. And guys, you don't, they don't, these big corporate dealerships don't pay for that stuff. They do at first, but they get it back from everybody that buys RVs from them because they spend more money, more overhead. They have to get higher prices for those RVs. So the poor chumps that buy from them, that's the one that has to pay for all that advertising. Uh, but by paying more for the same unit that they can buy here for thousands less because we don't spend all that money and have to recoup all that extra overhead. Simple, simple economics, guys. The more dealership spends, the more they have to make to cover that extra money they spend. So smaller dealership means smaller overhead, means they, got to, they, they can charge a smaller price and stay in business. And we're definitely that kind of dealership, mom and pop, independent dealer, kind of a dying breed. So guys, uh, this unit 12.9 includes our major systems inspection. We'll make sure the lift works, the power lift. We'll show you how to set it up. We'll make sure the AC works, make sure both refrigerators get cold inside and outside. We'll check your plumbing. Um, make sure your hot water heater works, water pump works, faucet, shower, toilet, and fix this sofa. Of course, everything else is sold as is, so if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You'll need to do one or two things. You'll need to come inspect the unit for yourself or a hire uh, like a third party RV inspector to do it for you, which they're welcome here. You know, I'm not like a lot of dealers and, and, and uh, outlaw RV inspectors. I know a lot of dealers. I know of three dealers in our area. Uh, there's like five or six dealers in our 20, 30 mile radius here. And I know it too. Uh, I, know, I know three of them that pretty much forbid RV inspectors and guys. I don't know about y'all, but if a dealer tells me I can't have an RV inspector inspect an RV before purchase, again, I'm going to find me another RV dealership to buy from because that's just, they're obviously hiding something. We try to be as transparent as possible, guys. These are used RVs. Anything, any RV you buy, whether it's new or used, doesn't matter the type, the brand, doesn't matter how much you spent on it, whether you spent twelve nine or if you spent $2 million on it. You're going to work on it. That's the nature of owning an RV. That the RVs are great, but you're going to work on it. You're going to have repairs. You're going to have maintenance or updates or a combination of any and all of those three. That's just part of owning a camper or an RV. It's like owning a boat, like owning a vacation home. It's like any other toy you own. You're going to have repairs, maintenance, or upgrades at any given time. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, come check us out, 706-965-7929. Call before coming to look to verify availability. Again, we have financing, delivery available, and we take trades, uh, financing with approved credit only, of course. And again, if you got questions, give one of our salespeople a call, 706-965-7929. Thanks again for watching. Smash us a thumbs up if you like the video. Feel free to comment, hit that subscribe button. Best way to support my channel, hit that subscribe button. RV is a big bow. You never know from one day to the next what I'm going to film. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to hit some travel trailers, uh, maybe a motorhome. Got a couple motorhomes in I want to film. Class A, Class C, uh, potentially maybe another Class A. I don't know. Over the next few days, I'll definitely be putting some motorhomes on. So thank you all for watching. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.